We're officially in Scorpio season now. Our new moon in Scorpio happened yesterday, and we are now in the time of year that is the most greatly characterized by the Scorpio energetics. We also, to kick this Scorpio cycle off, have some shifting energetics coming in today as well. We have Venus moving into Capricorn. This is definitely going to be having us take the things that we want a little more seriously over the next few weeks. And we also have Mercury coming into Scorpio. You guys, this is deep thoughts and penetrating insight into things that is going to be characterizing the way that we are thinking, the way that our mind is working over this next few weeks while Mercury is moving through Scorpio. Also today, there are themes coming up about how we need to persevere and we need to keep going and we need to be strong enough and endure any type of emotional pressure that is building on us right now. So wanted to throw that out there as well in my introduction. Welcome back to my channel, everybody. Today is Friday, November 5th, 2021. My name is Aubrey and this is your astrological outlook for the weekend. In my report today, I am going to be talking about the energetics that we have going on today on Friday and and also energetics that we have incoming tomorrow on Saturday and Sunday as well. So that is the nature of the show today and let's get started. Let's get into it. First things first, you guys, today we have, on Friday, we have the sun at 14 degrees of Scorpio. And this Sabian symbol or the energetic frequency of this particular degree described in a picture form so that we can have a better idea of what the planet at this degree is actually doing and what the purpose behind the placement is, is 14 Scorpio telephone, telephone lineman at work installing new connections. And I find this to be just oh so ironic because if you watched my video yesterday, you know this whole new moon in Scorpio is really about upgrading our frequency and really creating an energetic transition into the Aquarian paradigm that we are moving into right now. And a lot of the energy and the shifts and the changes and the upheavals and the shocks and surprises that are, you know, incoming this cycle because of the fact that Uranus was an exact opposition to the new moon for the new moon are having to do with these energetic upgrades that we are experiencing in these frequency shifts that are taking place this cycle to align us more so with the Aquarian frequencies that are going to be representing the new paradigm coming in. It's a very transitional, transformative cycle that we are heading through right now. And so on the very next day, for the sun to be talking about telephone linemen in, at work installing new connections, this is exactly what the energetics this week and with new moons, yesterday's new moon, were all about installing new connections, upgrading our vibrations to resonate with the incoming Aquarian frequencies. And we are being rewired and collectively upgraded um, on an energetic frequency based level to receive the new connections and signals and frequencies of this incoming Aquarian paradigm. This also describes the new connections and relationships that we are about to start aligning with once we go through this process that we have been going through this past couple of weeks, building up to the Scorpio cycle and breaking out of these toxic, self sabotaging, self limiting patterns that keep us out of alignment with the truth of our value and the potential that is represented through that and the fulfillment that that ultimately leads to when we develop that potential. So, um, you know, we are starting to align with we're going to be bringing in new connections now as the energetics indicate today and as we move through this Scorpio cycle and the old things fall away, we're going to be aligning with and bringing in new connections, new relationships, new interactions as well that are aligned with that truth that we have really been discovering over the past couple of weeks and definitely throughout the course of this Scorpio cycle as well. Very Uranian themed degree for the sun to be at today. That goes, like I said, right along with the new moon energy. And Uranus is still in the opposition today. We are still in the heights of unpredictability energy, the shocks and surprises, the expect the unexpected, the divine intervention, the galactic fixer is still very much operating 
and at play in the energetics today. You know, Uranus is at 13 degrees of Taurus and the sun today is at 14 degrees of Scorpio. So we are still only in a one degree orb separation from the exact opposition. Our lines are being reinvented and realigned today and new connections that are much more compatible with us on a soul level are being installed. To start off this rebirth cycle right now that is really rebirthing us into these elevated frequencies that are being adjusted by the linemen at work today. This is energetically leading us to physically manifesting these upgrades that are taking place as well. These you know, it's like all of this is happening internally on a frequency based level, but because of the way that our reality works and operates, whatever we're vibrating to, whatever our frequency is, is what we draw in and attract and what we match. So by going through this process of having our frequencies upgraded, we're going to be attracting a radically different type of energy and new connections, new peoples, new partnerships, new like, you know, circumstances generally into our lives. And I feel like the sun at this degree is just talking all about this day. And also just a major focus on communication, information spreading, as well as the sun in opposition to Uranus can always bring up some nervous tension and heightened levels of anxiety. It can just put this like subtle level of electricity in the air or maybe not so subtle. It can kind of feel like lightning in the veins sometimes when Uranus is being heavily activated. So Nervous energy, nervous tension, anxiety, heightened levels of anxiety are likely under the energetics today as well as they have been all week and they will continue to be throughout the weekend while this opposition moves away. Speaking of information though and telephone linemen and communication and you know all of that type of stuff, like I said, we have Mercury changing signs today. Whenever a planet changes signs, this fundamentally changes the way our energy is operating in one aspect or dynamic of our psyche and with it being Mercury, this is our thoughts, our ideas, our cognition, our mental processes, what we're focusing on, what we're learning about, what we're saying, what we're speaking, who we're, what we're communicating, how we're socializing, how we're verbalizing, all this stuff, okay? And it also rules like travel and short trips and things going back and forth. Um, but with Mercury moving into Scorpio, this is going to be all about, like I said in the beginning, deep thoughts now, penetrating insight into things, understanding the inner workings of things, strategy and secrecy, being a part of the thought processes going on right now, po powerful, powerful thoughts and words and communication and messaging and information and learnings right now, generally very powerful, very healing, very regenerative, trans transformation through learning and transformation and healing through learning with Mercury and Scorpio as well. And also an emphasis on like occult or hidden knowledge, um, more of a focus sort of on like the invisible unseen aspects of life, the metaphysical world, the occult knowledge, um, like the woo, you know, like I like to say, like, the invisible driving forces of reality that we don't really pay attention to, but really have that really powerful impact on the things that are happening in our world and in our lives. Being more tangibly visible to us and our minds just like organically thinking more so along these lines while Mercury is in Scorpio. So there is likely to be honestly a lot of weirdness this cycle, especially, you know, with the new moon having been in opposition to Uranus things like I said of like a woo woo type of nature or a meta more metaphysical or conspiratorial or occult type of nature being more commonly discussed rising to the forefront being more of a theme or you know people just digging for truth digging for answers and just naturally being more inclined to have this deep these deep thoughts, this penetrating insight into things and to seek answers in places that they may not normally think to look under the surface. So, um, yeah. And let's see Mercury as is at today moving to Scorpio, right? One degree of Scorpio, that degree is, um, one degree of Scorpio is 
a sightseeing bus filled with tourists. So this to me is also kind of saying that this is describing our collective trip mentally now into the underworld and the opportunity for the things that we might see and witness and capture while we're there. A sightseeing experience, a sightseeing trip into the hidden realms of reality. And, you know, it's like, I wonder what we'll discover when we come back from our sightseeing trip into the underworld and really look behind the curtain and see what's been going on underneath the surface of things. So that is, you know, with Mercury moving into Scorpio today. Again, this is another planet moving into Scorpio. We have the Sun, Mars, ruler of Scorpio, and now Mercury all in Scorpio while we're in the Scorpio cycle at the moment. These themes of seeking out hidden truth and the power that that actually gives us very prominent right now especially you know now with mercury our thoughts our mentality what we're thinking about what we're talking about what we're learning in this game in this in this uh looking behind the curtain of things as well we also have venus today at we're, like i said she is moving into capricorn this is a major energetic shift. Venus in Capricorn is much different than Venus in Sagittarius. When Venus in Sagittarius, it's like really all about our true love and our true desires and being liberated to really experience the true contents of our heart and our true soul heart expression. And like I said, what we truly love and what we truly desire, being free to experience those things. But with Venus in Capricorn, this like I said in the beginning, Venus takes love seriously, okay? Capricorn is ruled by Saturn, and it's a very, like, serious, mature, patient, duty-oriented sign. This can also, with, with Venus and Capricorn, one of the downfalls of this is there can be a tendency to be, like, controlling or possessive in terms of the things that we want, in terms of what we, the things that we love and in relationships. So that is one thing that we are going to want to generally just try to watch out for while we have Venus and Capricorn or some themes that may be emerging as well, sort of, um, a heightened level of control or possessiveness that you may experience either in terms of the things that you love or in your relationships or, in regards to getting the things that you want. But generally, this is a very solid, dependable, mature, stable, grounded, long lasting relationship energy, or just that is like the way that we feel about what we want and what we desire and what we connect with and what we relate to and what we value. It refines our desires, Venus in Capricorn. It's like fine wine, sort of. It, it really like refines the things. It, it, it causes us to like really refined and perfect forms of things. Venus and Capricorn also wants us to build stable, long lasting connections that again are very like mature and grounded and based in reality, very practical in love. This is mature love and being attracted to things that reflect our status and our value. Um, and again, you know, with Pluto also in Capricorn right now at the degree about the store holding the precious oriental rugs inside of it and being a ruler of this cycle, we are really all being driven right now to seek out the truth of the value that we hold inside of us and the power that is represented by that. And with Venus now moving into Capricorn, this is also like a desire for the things that reflect our own internal value and that we can relate to on that level. Um, this is also, you know, we value when Venus is in Capricorn, there's a tendency to value control and stability, and it is much more practical and much more patient as well. So this is sort of the energy that we're dealing with when we have Venus in Capricorn and the way that our, we're just generally going to be relating to people and connecting with people and, feeling about the things that we love and want and desire in our lives right now. Much more grant grounded, much more practical, taking things much more seriously while we have Venus transiting Saturn's sign. So 
Let's talk about the exact degree placement today now. One degree of Capricorn, where Venus is today, that Sabian symbol is an Indian chief claims power from the assembled tribe. And this, to me, is actually really bringing up Mars and Pluto themes, rulers of Scorpio, very Scorpionic degree, actually, that is being discharged, even though it's in Capricorn, at least through like the symbolic meaning of the degree. And so again, this is talking about like what I just stated, recognizing the power of our own inner value and self-love and stepping into our personal power to receive what our heart truly desires. Again, a very scorpionic degree being discharged by Venus, definitely um, like representing the Venus or the Pluto Mars archetypes and the Scorpio frequencies and dynamics that are operating right now. And really taking seriously and recognizing the truth of the value that we hold inside of us, the power that it represents, and not being afraid to stand in that power and assert, you know, our needs because we're taking them seriously now with Venus in Capricorn. What else? Okay, another thing, we got to talk about Mars today, of course, because Mars is the ruler of Scorpio, one of the rulers of Scorpio. So the degree placement of Mars is going to be quite relevant while Mars, while we're in this Scorpio cycle. Mars is at five degrees of Scorpio today, and that Sabian symbol is a massive rocky shore resists the pounding of the sea. And this is why I said in the beginning, in my introduction, that we're being asked today to have the energy and the strength to persevere, to have endurance to keep going against anything that we feel emotionally is making us want to cave in in some type of a way. This is talking with Mars at this degree about the need to resist and withstand the stress and pressure right now as we may be navigating some choppy waters, which, you know, symbolically could be a metaphor for difficult emotions that we're going through right now. We cannot give in to the pounding of our emotions, the pounding of the sea, or the emotional difficulty that we may be experiencing, and we must resist the temptations to cave to any type of, you know, really difficult or cutting or corrosive emotions right now that we have going on. Corrosive. That's a word, right? I think that's a word. You know, th something like that is like chiseling away at us or like wearing us down, like a feeling that we feel is just heavy and like nonstop and like consistent coming at us and wearing us down and like making us, you know, potentially want to just like give in to something. But Mars at this degree is really asking us not to give up, not to give in and um, to just hold the line is what we're doing today, what we what we need to be doing in spite of any like really difficult emotions that may be surfacing and sort of pounding against our resilience and our willpower. The last thing that I want to talk about today for Friday before we get into the energetics for tomorrow on Saturday is we have some aspects that are going on as a result of the moon making transits today. Right now, whenever we have a planet coming to the end of Scorpio, it is making three aspects. It is making a trine to Neptune. It is making a square to Jupiter, and it's also making a sextile to Pluto. These three planets in combination with the moon today, this is really being divinely guided to feel the truth in terms of the bigger picture of what's been going on and what's been kept hidden from us. Finding things out also through like dreams or intuition or flashes of insight or seeking some type of spiritual guidance. And this truth is changes or transforms our feelings about things with the moon being involved and making all these aspects to these big collective outer planets. Um, you know, some type of spiritual component helping us to come to a higher form of truth that is really transforming our feelings about something and helping us to align to that truth on a really deep, like, level of our psyche and also in a really deep level of our feeling nature, like in our soul, the moon. Um, okay, so that is pretty much what I have to say for the energy that we have going on for Friday. Big energetic day, Mercury and Venus both changing signs. We have the moon making this aspect and we really have Mars talking about the need to resist any type of an emotion that makes us want to cave to something that we have been standing strong and exerting our willpower to sustain ourselves and endure. Saturday, interesting day as well. Saturday, we have Mars, ruler of the Scorpio cycle that we're in right now, moving to six degrees of Scorpio. 
this Sabian symbol or the energy described in a picture form that is giving us more context about what Mars is really doing at this position in the context of the overall unfolding astrological story is a gold rush tears men away from their native soil. Again, it's all like in the symbolism, in the aspects, especially with Mars having just opposed the Chiron point. And now at this degree, like it is all about chasing after the true value. That is what we are energetically Mars being asked to put our passion and our strength and our courage and our willpower into leaving behind the old experiences that are not providing us with any real value and going out in search of experiences that do align with the true authentic value that we hold inside of us and can really bring us a life of abundance and fulfillment based on that truth of that value. So a very interesting degree for Mars. Mars will be at this degree Saturday and also on Sunday. It takes Mars about two days to move a degree. And so this energetic is being discharged by the ruler of our cycle all weekend. Again, emphasizing this same exact theme like verbatim. Remember for the new moon yesterday, Mars was exactly up opposite the Chiron point, which is a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. And now just to kick off this new moon in Scorpio cycle, we have Mars talking about a gold rush tearing men away from their native soil, really just about this gold that is activated and achieved once we go through this hero's journey, gain wisdom through experience and come into our personal power and then can really activate our destiny and become the best version of ourself in alignment with God's vision of us and then serve the greater good to a much greater capacity than we ever could have previously. The age of Aquarius, the gold rush, Mars at this degree on Saturday. So that is what we are, what is driving us all weekend, just Saturday and Sunday as Mars is at this degree. Interesting also, we have the moon on Saturday in Sagittarius, fire sign, that is going to be forming a trine to Chiron, pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, Chiron, who is in Aries right now, which is the sign ruled by Mars. So again, we have this same Mars Chiron gold value experience, wisdom through experience, hero's journey, self mastery, self empowerment energy, wounded healer, teacher energy that is going on referencing a need to be putting our energy towards pursuing our own personal value at this point in time. And you know, the Sagittarius, where the moon is for this trine, this is ruled by Jupiter, the planet of expansion and truth. And so again, this is more of this Chiron theme energy. Like I said, wisdom gained through experience. And also with Jupiter being an Aquarius right now, more of this Uranian Aquarian energy, you know, expanding us on a vibrational level, expanding that Jupiter and Aquarius energy in reference to the moon in Sagittarius forming the trine to Chiron and Aries. Jupiter is currently in Aquarius. And it's interesting as well because Jupiter is preparing to move degrees. Jupiter is going to, Jupiter has gone direct and Jupiter is finally going to change degrees from where he went direct. He is going to move to 24 degrees of Aquarius overnight into tomorrow. And that degree is a man turning his back on his passions, teaches deep wisdom from his experience. A gold rush tears men away from their native soil. Moon in Sagittarius, trying Chiron, pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, hero's journey, wisdom gained through experience in Aries, Mars. And then we have Jupiter moving to this verbatim exact degree, teaches deep wisdom from his experience, turns his back on, back on his passion, moves away from native soil in search of gold, in search of truth, in search of value, in search of fulfillment, in search of authenticity, in search of freedom and liberation in alignment with the heart and the soul and the ability to expand into full potential in alignment with the telephone workers repairing the communications or whatever. What was that degree? Telephone linemen at work installing new connections. Our frequency is changing alongside of all of this because of this process and aligning us with the Aquarian frequencies resonating coming in and it just is all fitting together. It's all a part of the same story and it's all happening right now in the context of this Scorpio new moon that was in an exact opposition to Uranus, the galactic fixer, the ruler of the age of Aquarius. Unbelievable, you guys. It's really like unbelievable. There's also an exact yod going on on Saturday, and this is between Venus at two degrees of Capricorn, 
Mercury at two degrees of Scorpio, both the planets that have recently just shifted and changes, changed signs, and also the North Node at two degrees of Gemini. The North Node rules the collective path forward our collective evolution, the cosmic blueprint, where universe is trying to take us, the lessons that we are supposed to be learning, the skills that we are supposed to be gaining. That is what is coming in the path ahead, all ruled by the North Node in astrology. So with an Ayad, this aspect is called a finger of God. This is... Um, there are two planets in a sextile and they are pointing to one plant, planet that they are both in a quincunx to. And this aspect is really about like balancing out these two planets through what is happening ultimately with the planet that they are pointing to. And at two degrees of Capricorn, where Venus is for this yod today, it is the Sabian symbol is three stained glass windows, one damaged by war. And then Mercury, two degrees of Scorpio, where um, he's located today for this yod, a broken bottle and spilled perfume. So both of these symbols are actually talking about something that has been broken or something that has been destroyed and something that has been just damaged or lost through this process. And then two degrees, though, of Gemini, where the North Node is right now, is Santa Claus furtively filling stockings on Christmas. So... You know, when I put these three degrees together, this is actually saying something very specific. Whatever is broken or damaged by conflict right now, whatever we lose that we've loved and that has brought us some type of peace and serenity or pleasure or joy at one time that we thought would stand the test of time, we may be losing what we've loved or who we were through the things, you know, who we used to be, who we associated ourselves with, through the things that are being broken or damaged right now. But we, you know, after this process, after we go through this process, the finger of God is pointing to the North Node. It's pointing to this is these are destined occurrences because they are ultimately leading to Santa Claus furtively filling stockings on Christmas. We are going down a path that is leading to us truly receiving gifts and blessing and fulfillments and joy in the future. So what we are losing now, what is being damaged now, the disappointment, the, you know, what we're upset about now, it's actually truly a blessing in disguise. And we, you know, are leaving the past behind to go in search of gold, to go in search of the truth. Remember Mars today for this also at the degree a uh, gold rush tears men away from their native soil. All of these, like all of these placements fit in, you know, so nicely into this overall scheme of things that we have going on today and just everything else, you know, and also the theme of rebirth into a radically reinvented way of perceiving reality that this Scorpio cycle represents definitely some Things being damaged, broken, and left in the past, some disappointment, some difficulty for sure. But once we can release these things and move on and tear ourselves away from that native soil and what we had been, you know, binding ourselves to in the past, there is really a path that we are moving towards that is trying to fill our stocking with blessings and gifts of fulfillments and joy and abundance. That is so much more authentic and, align and in alignment with who we truly are. The lesson on Saturday is to not give in to temptation to quit or our emotional like the temptation to quit as a result of the emotional difficulty that we're going through, no matter how damaged we feel or what we feel has been taken from us, we must continue to seek true value. There may be some disappointing energy on Saturday, but we must continue to align our heart and our mind with our authentic truth, that gold, that gold that keeps coming up. And we should be putting our energy and taking action now to go in search of the things that truly align with us and to go in search of recognizing the truth of the value that we actually hold inside of us. We must continue to align our heart and our mind with our authentic truth, that gold and the new lens through which we are viewing reality through our wisdom gained through experience. And this is going to be coming in in an even bigger way over the course of the next week. Now that we have Jupiter 
Moving to 24 degrees of Aquarius, like I said this weekend, a man turning his back on his passions teaches deep wisdom from his experience. That degree of Jupiter, which expands everything and is in Aquarius right now, talking about the age of Aquarius, the Aquarian frequency, the Aquarian paradigm, the Aquarian energetic expanded in a really big way. This is really saying the same thing as a man turn, turning his back on his passion teaches deep wisdom from experience. This is the same thing as a stained glass window or three stained glass windows, one damaged by war, a broken bottle and spilled perfume. A man or a gold rush turns, tears men away from their native soil, turning his back on his passions teaching deep wisdom through experience. This is just what the message is right now. And this is the collective process that we're going through. And again, with Jupiter now at this degree in the context of all these other energetics, it is going to be very prominent and expanded over this next week while Jupiter's at this degree. Um, did I start talking about Sunday yet? No, let's talk about Sunday real quick. Like I said, Jupiter is moving to 24 degrees of Aquarius. This is going to be an energetic that is incoming, you know, overnight on Saturday into Sunday. So we'll be feeling this on Sunday. We also on Sunday have the moon making conjunction to Venus in Capricorn. It's all <laughs> Sunday. We are definitely just going to be feeling a desire for stability, maturity, practicality, groundedness, very down to earth, potentially a focus on finances and like material things, um, practical things, what we're building, what our goals are, creating new goals in alignment with a refined nature of our heart, and just generally taking things seriously on Sunday, very serious energy. But this is a positive day energetically with the moon in a conjunction with Venus, and it also may make us quite social or communicative, socially relating and talking to people, but what we're talking about is likely to be more deep in serious topics with both Mercury in Scorpio and the moon and Venus in Capricorn. Um, on Sunday, we also, you know, for that moon Venus conjunction, that's going to be at three degrees of Capricorn, a human soul receptive to receptive to growth and understanding. We are internally evolving and pursuing our truth with this. We also, you know, have Mars again at that degree, the gold rush degree. So we are pursuing our truth. We are evolving internally. And this is being referenced again by the degree placement of planets that are significant on Sunday. Energy building into next week, you guys, we, you know, and this is going to be, we're going to start picking this up and feeling this over the weekend, most specifically on Sunday as well. But we also have at this point in time, Mercury heading into a conjunction with Mars. Uh, this is going to be lots of talk and action going on behind the surface of things. This is also going to be a very big energetic, um, a lot of people speaking their minds about things that they've found out and that have been going on in secret. And we'll be dealing with this energy next week, but it is dealing it is building today on Sunday. Very much so. Also, we have Mars building, Mars and Scorpio building into a square with Saturn and Aquarius that we're going to be dealing with this week as well that is being activated, you know, starting now on Sunday. And this, you guys, is probably going to be bringing up some stress, frustration, conflict, building between deep passions and also like societal rules, expectations and limitations, issues with that. And this could also be issues regarding control and boundaries coming up. This next week, though, with these aspects in effect is definitely going to create news and headlines about people standing up and taking action to defy rules and to defy authority. So that really is what we have going on this weekend. We have the energy for Friday, you know, these planets changing degrees. This is definitely major energetic shifts much different energy being emphasized as we move through the Scorpio cycle now and, you know, we are building into this Mars Saturn square, Mercury Mars coming in next week. So we could have a lot of volatility going on next week with Mars making all of these aspects in Scorpio in the Scorpio cycle that was opposing Uranus. So you're going to want to come back next week as well because we'll have another volatile heated week of astrology aspects going on. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Share it with your friends if you think they would be interested. Leave me comments, you guys. I love your comments and come back with me. Monday so we can continue talking about our trans